Friends, let us stand. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to St. Anne's this afternoon for this celebration of the Sacrament Matrimony. A warm welcome to you all, all those who have traveled the distance to be with Michelle and James here today. They've, we stand on holy ground in God's house. We are a holy people gathered in faith and in prayer. So let's accept each other in the dignity as sons and daughters of the Father, so that we can give the best gift to James and Michelle today, the gift of our own prayerfulness, the gift of our own faith, the gift of our own trust in God's love for each one of us today. So I would ask you, if you have a mobile phone, to please put it on silent. Make sure it's on silent. And I would also ask you not to take photographs during the ceremony. You'll have an opportunity afterwards, please. Leave that to the professional photographers, please. Thank you. So, let us gather in faith as a people of faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And you'll find our order of service that you have in your hands. We begin by, as we did, Michelle and James lighting candles this morning as a sign of their unique dignity as a son and daughter of the Father. And now we come to praise God in the words of the Gloria. So you'll find those words in your order of service. So let us say it together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. So let us now make our prayer. Let us pray in silence for Michelle and James today. Be attentive to our prayers, Lord, 
and in your kindness uphold what you have established for the increase of the human race, so that the union that you have created may be kept safe by your assistance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Let us now be seated as we listen to God's Word and invite Philip to share our first reading with us today. A reading from the book of Tobit. On the evening of their marriage, marriage, Tobias said to Sarah, let us pray and implore our, our, our Lord that he grant us mercy and safety. Tobias began by saying, Blessed are you, O God of our ancestors, and blessed is your name in all generations forever. Let the heavens and the whole creation bless you forever. You made Adam, and for him you made his wife Eve as a helper and support. From the two of them the human race has sprung. You said, It is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make a helper for him like himself. I now am taking this kinswoman of mine not because of lust, but with sincerity. Grant that she and I may find mercy and that we may grow old together. They both said, Amen, Amen. The word of the Lord. Now I invite Rosemary to share God's word with us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. You are God's chosen race, his saints. He loves you and you should be clothed in sincere compassion, in kindness and humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with one another, forgive each other. As soon as the quarrel begins, the Lord has forgiven you. Now you must do the same. Over all these clothes to keep them together and complete them. Put on love and may the peace of Christ reign in your hearts that you were called together as parts of one body. Always be thankful. Let the message of Christ in all its richness find a home with you. Teach each other and advise each other in all wisdom. With gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms and hymns and inspired songs to God, and never say or do anything except in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us stand. Lord be with you. 
a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I've told you this so that my own joy may be in you, and your joy be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated for a few moments. Once again, I welcome you to St. Anne's today in this little damp day compared with yesterday. But the rain will not spoil the joy and the celebration of this very special day for Michelle and James. Even the fact that we, that we started very late, you know, that's not going to take away from the joy and the celebration today. Not right, Michelle, not right, James, because you hold on to each other there. And that's what I was telling them. Hold on to each other because it's, it's their day. It's a very special day. I welcome those who have other faith communities or have no faith community, those who join us through our live streaming service, wherever you are, whoever you're with, thank you for coming to St. Anne's today. And we're going to hear very, some very important words in a few moments, words that James and Michelle will say to each other. I take you. James, I take you, Michelle, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of our life. And we'll hear those words. We've, we've heard those words before. You know? And many of you sitting here today, no doubt remembering the day that you said them to your partner, to your spouse. But today we're hearing them in a way that we've never quite heard before. Because Michelle and James are doing something that is very important, very significant, not just for themselves, but for all of us as a faith church family. Because those words bring the love of God, a love of of God for you and for me, it makes it real in this moment. God's love in the midst of this very present moment. We've never heard Michelle and James say those words to each other. So that makes it a very unique moment. And the God who gathers us is the God who then takes those words and lifts those words up and consecrates them and makes those words a sacrament of his relationship with us, a sacrament of your relationship with each other. So it's a whole new language that is being discovered today, that is beginning today for Michelle and James. It's the language of love. Love as husband and wife. Not just the husband, the love of a good friends, not just the love of companionship, but it's the love of husband and wife. And we're reminded that St. John in the scriptures tells us that God is love. So that means wherever you and I experience love, wherever, wherever and whenever you and I experience love, then we have an experience of God. So Michelle and James, when you are loving each other, you will become a sign to us. You will be making God present to us because God is love. So when we see you loving each other, we see God. You will have that capacity to make God present for the rest of us. And that's a wonderful gift that you can give us. And that's a wonderful gift that you and I, all of us,
can be open to receive, not only today, but tomorrow, next week, next year, in many years to come, all the days of our life. That's, that's the gift. So while the language is str strong and we'll hear it today, let's ask God to consecrate those words so that Michelle and James will be the best for each other, that they'll be the best for us, that they will continue to teach us how to love, continue to teach us how to forgive, continue to teach us how to respect each other, continue to teach us how to have compassion, how to have consideration, how to be generous to each other. That's the gift that God gives them. That's the gift that you and I will receive. So without any further words, let us prepare ourselves to hear those unique words of Michelle and James. So let us all stand. Dear children of God, you have come today to pledge your love before God and before the church here present in the presence of the priest, your families, and your friends. Michelle and James, in becoming husband and wife, you give yourselves to each other for life. You promise to be true and faithful, to support and to cherish each other until death, so that your years together will be the living out in love of the pledge that you now make. May your love for each other reflect the enduring love of Christ for his church. And as you face the future together, keep in mind that the sacrament of marriage unites you with Christ and brings you through the years the grace and the blessing of God our Father. Marriage is from God. He alone can give you the happiness which goes beyond human expectation, which grows deeper through the difficulties and struggles of life. Put your trust in God as you set out together in life. Make your home a center of Christian family life. In this, you will bequeath to your children a heritage that is more lasting than temporal wealth. The Christian home makes Christ and his church present in the world of everyday things. May all who enter your home find there the presence of the Lord. For he said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So, James and Michelle, now you're about to exchange your marriage vows, and the church wishes to be assured that you appreciate the meaning of what you do. So, I ask you, have you come here of your own free will and choice and without compulsion to marry each other? Yeah. Will you love and honor each other in marriage all the days of your life? Are you willing to accept with love the children God may send you and bring them up in accordance with the law of Christ and his church? We are. I invite you then to declare before God and his church your consent to become husband and wife. Big loud voice. I, James, take you, Michelle, as my wife, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of our life. I, Michelle, take you, James, as my husband, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, all the days of our life. What God joins together, man must not separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you have given and enrich you both with his blessings. Almighty God, bless these rings, symbols of faithfulness and unbroken love. May Michelle and James always be true to each other. May they be one in heart and mind. May they be united in love forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Michelle, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Uh, you can break his finger in that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Uh, get your own back on. James wore this ring as a sign of our faithful love in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, that was love and honest, yeah. Michelle and James have declared their consent. They've exchanged rings. They've become husband and wife. And the very first thing that they do as husband and wife is to pray together. <clears throat> we, thank we thank you, Lord, and we, and we praise, praise you for bringing us to this happy day. You have, you have given, given us to each other. other. Now, now together we give ourselves to you. We, we ask you, Lord, make us one in our love. love. Keep, Keep us one in your peace. peace. Protect our marriage. Bless, bless our home. home. Make, make us gentle. gentle. Keep us faithful. And, and when, when life, life is, is over, over unite, unite us again. again. Where parting is no more in the kingdom of your love. love. There will praise you in the happiness, happiness and peace of our, of our eternal home. home. Amen. Michelle and James have prayed. So it's only right that we should join our prayers to theirs. So I'm going to invite those who are going to lead us in the prayers of intercession to come forward. <clears throat> We pray for James and Michelle that their life together will be filled with happiness and love, that they may always be true friends to each other, that together they will face the challenges of life. May their home be filled with love. Bless them on their journey through life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember the smiles and laughter of those who have gone before us who would have loved to share in the joy and happiness of this day. We thank God for the happy memories they have left us, with, left us with. May God one day reunite us again. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the parents and families of James and Michelle, who have shown them love and kindness throughout their lives, may God watch over them, bless them, and keep them safe in his care always. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the private intentions of all here present, that God may grant you and your loved ones your requests and guide you happily through life. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace stay here. God, our Father, you are the creator of all that is good. Listen to these, our prayers, which we make with trust in Jesus Christ, your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Michelle and James. Congratulations. You may now kiss the groom. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Let us now be seated.
Friends, let us stand and pray. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Lord, the offering made on the occasion of this sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. And just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of matrimony may serve to increase the children that you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design, that while the birth of children brings beauty to the world, their rebirth and baptism gives increase to the church through Christ who is Lord. So through him with the angels and all the saints, we pray the hymn of your praise, as without end we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let us now kneel. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Then he said to them, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We ask that sharing the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all the clergy and religious. Remember all our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles, St. Anne, and all the saints who have pleased you down the ages, that we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Let us now stand and pray together as a family. And let us pray to the Father, and we use the words that Jesus himself taught us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now we ask God's blessing on Michelle and James. So let us bow our heads and pray for them. Let us pray that they may be one in love by the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. O God, who by the, your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you have set in place the beginnings of the universe, you formed man and woman in your own image, making woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two, but one flesh, and taught that what, was, what you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman is joined to man and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on Michelle and James joined together in, matter, in marriage who ask, they come to ask you to strengthen them by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts so that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in Michelle and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May James, her husband, entrust his heart to her so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for the church. And now, Lord, we implore you that these, your servants, James and Michelle, may hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all that they do, and with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all people. And grant that reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, may they come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on the faith of the church gathered here today. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us say together, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world grant us peace. Let us kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, the bread of life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter onto my river, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you wish to receive Holy Communion today, I would invite you to come by the center aisle and return to your seats by the side aisles, please, and you receive in the hand only, please. I would ask you also to allow this to be a very prayerful time when we unite ourselves to each other through the sacrament of the Eucharist today. If instead you wish to receive a blessing, you can come forward and cross your hands across your chest like that to receive a blessing instead. Thank you.
Let us stand. By the power of this sacrifice, Lord, accompany with your loving favor what in your providence you have instituted so as to make of one heart and love those you have already joined in this holy union and replenished with the one bread and the one chalice. This we ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you today who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. And I invite you to be seated and to witness Michelle and James signing the civil schedule. Please be seated. Friends, let us stand and greet our bride and groom, Michelle and James.